All right, picking up this little cobalt I picked up here at the auction. I've been running these a headlight bulb. So I gotta get a headlight bulb. They did this little spray can paint job, but it wasn't too bad. You know, a little, you know, a little rattle. Throw some hubcaps on here. You know, car used to be yellow, but you know, they took this off for some reason. So I gotta hook all that back up. Um, get all this trash out of there, but it ain't too bad though. We put that back on. Cover that up because I don't want nobody's personal information getting AC works. AC kicking on and off, so need a little charge. Get a compressor kicking on and kicking off, so probably just need like one, probably like a little half a can. So I'm gonna turn that off. Um, we're gonna drive and make sure it got gears and if it got all that, we're gonna throw some hub caps on it. Does have a check engine light on. So we just gonna turn that off for right now. It's about to get cold anyway. People ain't looking too much for the for that. Just make sure they ain't having no front end issues. Seriously with these cobalts. Uh something else we have Sound like something loose. Sound like something loose. Some, some, something to lose. But oh well. I can diagnose it a little bit better when I'm driving. I feel like just something to lose. this stuff out for some unknown reason that took that out I think this is what goes here so. uh, it, goes, it goes in there some way goes in there some way but it is something with the front and I can already notice that but I can notice it better when I get up to speed so that goes there this goes there um, not too bad on the inside you know these copper mats I'll just I mean the motors good like I said you can see it was painted yellow so the motors good um, Motor sounds good, just gotta make sure the transmission's good. I mean, front end stuff, you know, that's usually what happens with the cobalt. But it can't be that much. There's a lot of these at the salvage yard, and then I probably won't pull nothing at the salvage yard. Let's go see what he picked up. Falling. I don't know why they put that tape on there. Cause just went to the salvage yard and got a headlight and a fender. But you know, that makes it cheaper for everybody else. That makes it cheaper for us. When people don't want to do the little small things like this. Like you could have just throwing all this tape on there. Cause it's when it got to a window motor. More likely window motor went bad over here and then scraped it up. Oh, 
Might as well just pour it in the overflow. Here, let me get that gate. Boy, you dropping in. Who want to draw the avalanche? Man, where the key at? <laughs> that part, I do got phone calls, isn't it? What one is this? 07? What was the other one? 06 and then this car. So, we got a... Um, 06 Cobalt, 06 Impala, 07 Impala, and we got a, uh, so you see, uh, huh? Impala. And, and then a 13 of them. Oh, yeah, but it's something with the front end, though. So that's what we got. 13 Elantra, two, two 2006 Chevy, then a, and an 07 Chevy. So we up out of here. We got some, something with the front end. It might not be that bad. It might just be me. No, I'm being on uh, what I'm being on right now. See, you feel that? Yeah. There's something with the I'm being on this right now. Uh, that ain't bad. The ridge line, they love the ridge line. 1800. There's something with this driver wheel. Man, I'm gonna have to take a tonic, ain't I? It's 1800, got leather, and I'm changing the dash on it. Eh, it don't seem like it's something your daddy probably could do. Or something I could just jack it up and see. It's probably like a strut or something. It's probably a strut or the A frame or something. We'll see when I get up to speed. Got to make sure it got gears. <laughs> Driving it and getting up to speed, it don't seem that bad. I mean, it ain't, but I still like something. It's something though, but it feels like it feel like it's more loose than it's something. Oh, uh, gotta get a mirror though too. I didn't see the mirror was broken. Broken. This mirror, but. You can feel it, and then the check engine light is on. Like I'm driving it, and it ain't like affecting nothing or anything. Like it ain't making it drive bad or veer or nothing like that. Making it, making it beer like off the road or anything like that. I'm steering, like letting my hand off with the one, letting my hand off the wheel. It ain't like, but it's like when you break though. So it's like whatever. Okay, so it's getting a. It's got a message for power steering, and then a message for change oil soon. Which okay, I understand that change the oil soon. I just have to jack it up and see, but I'm pretty sure it's like I'm pretty sure it's like a control arm or maybe maybe like an outer tie rod or something like that. But I'm pretty sure it's probably like a control arm or something like that. Probably like a lower control arm. Just you're getting a little weak, or it might just be a little loose, you know, because it feel like it's more loose than you know messed up or anything. So I just have to jack it up. Probably do that tomorrow. Appreciate everybody for tuning in, but I'll see y'all when we get to the shop, you know, we'll do one last walk around when we get there. And then y'all let me know in the comment section below what y'all think about it, what y'all think I sell it for. You know, I paid, what, seven, eight hundred, I think, yeah, eight hundred for it. So, you know, me, get this little part fixed, charge the AC up, change the oil, you know, I'll sell it for two grand, you know, make a quick thousand, probably sell it for 22, 25, 2,000 to 25, you know, throw some hubcaps on there. 
you know, after, you know, fixing the control arm, fixing the control arm, charging the AC, so. That's something I gotta get that fixed, whatever that is. Whatever that whatever that is, you gotta get that fixed. Might just be a strut. Might be a bin strut. That's what it might it might. That's actually what it might be a bad strut. Or the strut might have not been like owned right, like you know, like sometimes they put like the strut and stuff, like the strut don't be they don't put it on or tighten it up right, so it sometimes it get loose. So, cause it's not making the car veer or nothing like that, you know. You know, it's getting up to 40, 50, you know, miles per hour, you know, no problems. It's not veering or left to right or anything like that. But I don't know, let me know in the comment section below what y'all think I can sell it for. I'm thinking like two plus grand, you know, it's 2006, so thinking, about 20, 25 and some chains, 25, 22, 23, you know, some, something in there, something in there, but you know, post, I'll probably post it with 28, you know, start off high, you know, start off high at like 28, and then, you know, let them talk me down, like, oh, I got 22, I got 25, okay, well, you know, come on down. Make me about thousand, twelve hundred, fifteen hundred, anywhere in there. Anything over a thousand dollar profit, can't beat it. But motor, motor, motor's good. Transmission's good. AC is good. Tires are good. So we checking, 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 and all the other stuff. All the other stuff is just minor. So I don't care about minor stuff. But when you checking, when you check off all those boxes like motor, transmission, heat, AC, tires. Boop, boop, boop. All the other stuff can be just be fixed. I see I want to get to the shop.